this is Joe Bolster here at the Sports Final Plus desk, and now it's time for a little segment we like to call Talk Back. It's an opportunity for you, Joe fan, to talk to me, Joe Bolster, about sports. Sports trivia, sports questions, sports history, teams in sports, great names in sports history. We're all about sports here. You have the questions, I have the answers. Let's talk sports on Talk Back. First caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Yes. Hello? 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 Joe? Yes. Joe Bolster. That's right. Hi, uh, Rick Frank, Clovis, California. Rick, how are you? I'm good. First time caller. I'm a little nervous. Okay, don't worry. Just take a breath. Settle okay. down. Okay. Uh, I I have a trivia question for you. Okay. Um, on the old series, That Girl, I remember Marlo Thomas once had a blind date with a ball player from one of the New York teams. Uh, could you tell me who that ball player was? Marlo Thomas on That Girl had a blind date with a ball player from a New York uh, baseball team? Yeah, one of the New York baseball teams. I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. Uh, I'm going to take a guess and say Elio Chacon. Um, I, I don't know the answer. I was wondering if you did. Oh, it's Elio Chacon. Okay. All right, right Rick. Thank you very much. That's that it for you? That, that, that'll do. All right, thanks for calling. Say hi to all my fans out there in Clovis, California. All righty? Thanks a lot, buddy. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, Rick. We'll take another call very quickly here. Hello, you're on Talkback. Hello, Joe. Hello. Uh, do you recognize this voice? By any chance? Is this <laughs> the drama the drama guy, uh, dramaturgical? Yes, I was your dialogue coach on The Fish Who Saved Pittsburgh. Dick so, Hines. So Richard Hines. Dickie! Beautiful to see you, Joe. How the heck are you? I'm great, and I have a rather personal question. All righty, uh, shoot. I found in the, the time between uh, my acting... Uh, moments, uh, I've taken up a habit of uh, haberdashery, uh -huh. and uh, I couldn't resist the temptation to fashion for you uh, a small lederhosen set, and I was just curious, when we were working on the fish who saved Pittsburgh, your hips and buttocks were um, so very high and raised and pert, I am wondering, should I adjust my measurements, or are you still in game shape, Joe? Uh, <clears throat> I'm fine, uh, Richard, for, and uh, I'm not sure. What is a lederhosen? Oh, it's like uh, you've seen The Sound of Music. Mm? Like the little boys and girls in Austria with their lederhosen. It's sort of a... It keeps you from chafing, Joe. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's a... It's, it's an like... anti-chafing garment. Right. Yes. Well, now that I've uh, retired, uh, I don't have much call for uh, that sort of outfit. Do you wear one in... Uh, in uh... I'm wearing one presently. Oh, you are? Yes, with a nice blouse. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, I you wish must. You could see me. It's quite radiant. You know what I might do? Would you stay on the line uh, with our operator? I'd, I'd be glad to. Jim. I'd really like to chat with I'm you deeply flattered. about some of the old days. And uh, you know, you still owe me money from that bet we had on the set of the no, fish. No, you're such a dick. Do you remember that? Uh, you're a dickens. <laughs> <laughs> dick, I gotta run. All right, sir. Heck of a fun. Heck of a lot, lot of fun talking I'll be to you. Holding. All righty. All right. We'll talk to you later. Yes. This is Joe Bolster on Talkback, and uh, we hope to talk to you next time.